Okay, guys, last one here. This is part four. So let's say that Mr. Tobias has a garden, a large garden that he's working on with his class. And we know that it's got a total area of 600 square meters. We also know that one of the dimensions, one of the sides is 20 meters, but we're not sure what the other one is. We don't have that information. And we're trying to figure that out. So can we use what we know about how to calculate area to figure out what that is? So you might remember, we need to multiply both sides to get the area. But what if we don't know one side? Well, 20 meters times something equals 600 meters squared. So I'm gonna leave out the meters just to have a look at the numbers here. 20 times something equals 600. So you might just start thinking about what numbers might make sense. You might even just, just pick something and put it in there, say 10. What would this be if this was 10? 20 times 10 would be 200. Hmm, so we need something, one way you could think about it is we need something three times more than that. You could do 20 times 20 if you want. So we tried over here 20 times 10, and that gave us 200. We could try 20 times 20, and we know this is gonna be just double that, that's going to be 400. Um, we could do with then the next number up would be 20 times 30. And that actually is 600. And so that tells us that this side here is 30, um, 30 meters. But another way to reverse this and actually calculate this is we can divide. So if 20 times something is 600, that means that 600 divided by 20 equals that something, whatever that is. So if you were to get out your calculator and do 600 divided by 20, you're gonna find that it equals 30. So that is another way of solving this problem in reverse is remembering that multiplication and division are opposites. So one of them undoes the other.